Google announced a new Google Home Mini, which is their competitor to the Amazon Echo Dot. It is similar to the Google Home and still has Google Assistant built in, except it is smaller and only has one speaker that faces upwards. The speaker is now covered by Google Design Fabric instead of plastic, and the four LEDs are now built into the fabric. They are now white and in a line instead of in a circle and all different colors. They still sell when the Google Home Mini is on. It can be controlled by tapping the right side to raise the volume, the left side to lower the volume, and tapping in the middle to play or pause your music. The Google Home Mini comes in three colors, dark gray, light gray, and coral red, coming out on October 19th for $49. The Google Home Max is Google's high-end smart speaker and their competitor to the Apple HomePod. The Google Home Max has two 4.5-inch woofers and two 0.7-inch tweeters. It has a feature called Smart Sound, where the speaker automatically adopts to its surroundings, similar to Apple's spatial sound. Even though the speaker now faces forward, the controls have remained on the top. The Home Max will be coming with a quad-core 1.5 gigahertz 64-bit ARM processor and it will come out on in December for $399. The Pixelbook is a 2-in-1 laptop with 360-degree hinges. It runs Chrome OS and it has a similar design to the Google Pixel phone. The keyboard is included. There is also a Google Pixelbook pen which is sold separately. It is a smart stylus sold for $99 and the Pixelbook is sold for $9.99. The Google Pixelbook also comes with Google Assistant built in. It can be activated with OK Google. It also has a key built into the keyboard, a button on screen in the lower left hand corner, and there is a button on the Google Pixelbook pen where you can just circle something and then press it and automatically ask Google Assistant about it. The Pixelbook's keyboard has 8 millimeters of travel and backlit keys. It also has the speakers behind the keyboard. The Pixelbook is 10.3 millimeters thick, and the display is a 12.3 inch 1600 by 2400 display at 235 pixels per inch. It has an aspect ratio of 3 to 2 and a maximum brightness of 400 nits. The Pixelbook is advertised to have 10 hour battery life and to be able to charge to 20% in 15 minutes. There are three models of the Google Pixelbook. It has a fanless design with a seventh generation Intel Core i5 in the entry level and mid range models. This is the Y series and then a Y series Intel Core i7 in the high end model. There is 8 gigabytes of RAM on the low end and mid range models and 16 gigabytes on the high end and also the storage is 128, 256 and 512 gigabytes. Google Pixel Buds are a pair of Bluetooth earbuds. They work with any phone on Android 5.0 or above and they have Google Assistant built in. Controls are built into the right Pixel Bud. You can tap it to play or pause the music. You can swipe to change the volume. You can also use Google Assistant by pressing and holding and then saying what you want to say to Google Assistant while you're holding on the earbuds. And then when you release, Google Assistant will reply. The Pixel Buds have a 120 milliamp hour battery, which should give five hours of listening time. And they also come with a charging case with a 620 milliamp hour battery. You, you do have to fold a cable to put the Pixel Buds into the carrying case. And also, the carrying case charges using USB-C. The biggest feature of the Google Pixel Buds is that if you have a Google Pixel phone, then you can use it with the Google Translate app for instant translations.